What's up, fight fans? Main man, me man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. What up to the fam? What up to everyone in Main Man, Made Man's boxing form on Facebook? The thing is this, fight fans. I got one big question off the top. Are you are y'all still debating what happened three years, four years ago? Are we still cherry picking statements from promoters Bob Arum or what happened on this side or that side? Or we're still cherry picking statements from Crawford or still cherry picking statements from Earl. Are we still doing that? Because like I've been ringing the alarms for for the last few weeks, we are the current present situation deserves a hell of a lot of attention because now we're at a real uh, fork in the road when it comes to the Earl Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford situation. While everyone's stuck debating and want to get the upper hand in debates, this fight is under serious threat. The way that the landscape at welterweight is playing out, fight fans, Earl Spence Jr. now has some serious threats on his heels. And most importantly, this evens the playing field for Terrence Crawford in negotiations, which I believe. We know that last night that uh, Quadradrilio Abdukokorov, who was considered the number one contender in the IBF, also Earl Spence Jr.'s mandatory, well, he lost. He lost to a guy named Cody Crowley. Now, I've been telling the fight fans to keep your eye on that situation and see how it plays out because major repercussions lie ahead. And now Abdukokorov losing the next uh, guy under him who's available possibly for the mandatory is Jerome Boots Ennis. Now, we don't know how this situation is going to go currently right now, fight fans. It can go one or two ways. The IBF can come out and say, hey, we're ordering Jerome Boots Ennis as the immediate mandatory because we haven't had a mandatory fight since 2018. And so we want the mandatory more sooner than later. And it could possibly be Earl Spence Jr.'s next fight. Or they can come out and say, hey, we're going to order Jerron Boots Ennis to fight an elimination bout. And the winner of that bout will then be Earl Spence Jr.'s mandatory. Giving Earl Spence Jr. a little bit more cushion to possibly go out and do some sort of voluntary. It can go that way as well. But either way you slice it, fight fans. This is a certified threat in Jerron Boots Ennis and he is definitely coming and he is definitely in position. So... I've been ringing the alarms about this situation, all of the stalling, all of the debating, all of the BS. And now we are in crunch time. Now, don't get me wrong. Earl Spence maybe can beat Jerron Ennis. I don't deny that, but it's a threat. Earl beating Jerron Ennis, he doesn't get no world title. He don't get no pound for pound major ranking or he's not beating a high profile name fighter like he would if he fought Terrence Crawford. The reward for it would be much lesser if he fought Terrence Crawford. And the threat of Jerron beating him is very high because he's young. He's hungry. He's a talented, talented fighter. It's a certified threat and it can derail the whole situation if things go left. That's where we are. My answer to this whole thing is, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, should have made the damn fight. And now everyone who's running around trying to do pay-per-view numbers and add up the ticket sales and say why Bud doesn't deserve X, Y, Z. This is why I stress to boxing fans to operate in the present because the current situation is much different than it was before. Now, Earl Spence is in a situation where he can stall some more risk on facing Jerron Ennis, which is not something I'm sure he wants to do because it's not the biggest money fight. And I would think that Earl Spence Jr. is a prize fighter. And if he continues to stall, if the IBF did give him some leeway, well, the next mandatory in the WBC is also coming. 
Remember, Earl's last mandatory in the WBC was Danny Garcia. We got Virgil Ortiz fighting through the ranks currently as we speak. He's about one or two fights from becoming the WBC mandatory. So my deal is he's right there in the WBC coming. Not to mention Jerron Ennis is now high. They are threats. So is Earl Spence Jr. going to continue with this stubborn stance? With these stupid splits talks and, and stuff like that. Is he going to let the biggest fight in his near future just float away and risk himself with younger fighters? That's the current situation we in. Debate your ways out of that fight, fans. Oh, well, Eric Spence Jr. ain't got to do anything. Yes, he does. Because the IBF don't play. You mess around with them, they will kick Earl Spence Jr. ass out of their rankings and make him drop that title so fast that they make your head spin. So what is he going to do? He going to keep this stuff up? Risk himself? I see that Terrence Crawford has also applied to become the IBF mandatory himself. Noble gesture. We know it won't pretty much happen, but I get the message. And that's what's that's most importantly. See, there's this thing amongst certain religious believers that you don't supposed to believe in the messenger. You're supposed to believe in the message. You're not supposed to worship the messenger. You're supposed to worship the message. And in Terrence Crawford's case, it's the message that's very important. And the message is, yeah, I know I can't probably become the IBF Mando, but I'm knocking on the door. Yeah, I know I can't become the WBC Mando, but I'm knocking on the door. I'm letting these sanctioning bodies know that I want to fight. I'm signaling it to Earl Spence and his deluded ass fan base that I want to fight. That's the message that's going across. They told him to get a belt. He got a belt. They told him to fight somebody. He fought someone and beat him better than they did. They told him to leave Bob Arum. He left Bob Arum. What more does this man have to do? And now what's the new excuse? Ticket sales. Well, that shit don't matter when you got Jerron Boots Ennis on the heels of Earl Spence Jr. Talk y'all way out of this one. So we'll sit back and wait. We'll let the wheels turn. This is why I haven't been participating in this crap. Because I see what's coming. We've been seeing what's been coming for weeks here, fight fans. And this kid, Jerron Boots Ennis, has now arrived. How they gonna deal with him? All day. Thumbs up on the way out if you didn't hit it on the way in. Share, share, share. Rock those bells, man. We're gonna wait and see. I see y'all real soon on the live stream, man. We're gonna wait and see. I am, I am paying close attention. I hope Earl Spence Jr. make the right decision. Respect Terrence Crawford's business. Give him what he's asking for. Make the biggest fight in boxing. Everyone's happy, period. To the next video. Peace out.